Greetings entering freshmen at Hilbert College. My name is Neil White. I'm the author of In the Sanctuary of Outcasts. I'm honored the book was selected for Hilbert's Common Read and I'm grateful that each of you will take the time to read this story. I hope you enjoy this tale of a strange, magical place and time, a two-year period when the federal government housed convicts with the last living leprosy patients in the continental United States. You'll learn about the plight of leprosy patients during the 20th century, most of whom were brought to the colony at gunpoint or in shackles or under the custody of a man they called the Bounty Hunter. When they arrived, they were made to change their names. They were issued inmate numbers. They were not allowed to vote. Their mail was baked in an oven before it was released to the general public. They were not allowed to marry. If a romance did strike up between two patients and a woman became pregnant, the child was taken away at birth and placed with a foster family. And because most of the patients were abandoned by their families, their unclaimed bodies were buried in a cemetery at the back of the colony, usually with their alias etched in stone. As you read, you'll encounter some fascinating characters. Ella Bounds, a woman snatched away from her family at the age of 12. She spent 68 years in Carville, not because she had done anything wrong, but because she was susceptible to a bacterial infection. You'll meet Harry, a man who had been confined since the age of five. Jimmy Harris, an outgoing patient who was also a professional photographer. And of course, everyone's favorite Franciscan, Father Reynolds Garland. On the inmate side, you'll meet Frank Regano, Jimmy Hoffa's lawyer, and the man who claimed to deliver the message to have John F. Kennedy assassinated. Dan Duchesne, the supplement guru who first introduced steroids into the bodybuilding world. And one of the funniest men you'll ever encounter, a guy we called Link. You'll also get to know me and my family and the story of how we dealt with a year of confinement alongside the last Americans who were imprisoned for a disease and how in this most unlikely spot I rediscovered what matters most in life. I'll arrive at Hilbert on October 21st. I look forward to getting to know you and to a spirited conversation.